If your hens have stopped laying eggs or they don't lay eggs, you have to kind of be a chicken psychiatrist. So my egg production has fallen way off. Today, we're gonna remedy that. And we're gonna take a tour of the coop and I'll be pointing out a few things I need to adjust. I'm Becky. I used to live in the consumer rat race just like you. But one day, I had enough, so I sold it all, moved to the country, and built my own log cabin with my own two hands. Now, I spend my time discovering new ways to live a simple, healthy lifestyle with more free time and way less stress. Then, sharing what I've learned with you. Welcome to Becky's Homestead. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about egg production. I have added my young hens in the coop with the mature hens. I'm having a little trouble with egg production because there's stress going on in the coop. If there's any stress going on in the coop, the production will go way down. So you have to watch carefully and figure out where the stress is coming from. In my coop, I have a mixture of 50% young hens with 50% old hens, eight of each. The older hens aren't letting the younger hens roost at night, which means getting up on the perch where they all sleep at night. Therefore, the younger hens are all, all down here in this corner, huddled on the ground. That causes a lot of stress in the young hens and prevents them from laying eggs. Also, during the day, the younger hens will go in the coop and get up on the roost or perch during the day because they're tired. And that's causing stress in the older hens because they don't like them up there on the roost. So to solve this problem, I have to build another roost. And we're gonna go in the coop and I'm gonna show you how big it is. Because if you weren't paying attention and realized that chickens are very temperamental, that might not dawn on you because the roost looks plenty big to accommodate all of them. This is a roost or a perch. This is where the hens sleep at night for people who are new to chickens and might not know that. They don't sleep over here in the nest. You might think that they sleep in the nest, but they don't. That's only where they lay the eggs. This is where they sleep at night and they'll all get up here and line up. I'm gonna install another roost. So there's plenty of room and the old hens don't need to be near the big hens. <laughs> so I'm gonna install the next roost, roost up here, higher, about a foot higher. So they can jump on this one and then jump up to the higher one. And what's gonna happen is all the older hens will be on the high roost and all the younger hens will be on the low roost. And hopefully everybody will be happy and my egg production will increase. It's gotta support a lot of fat hens. Be a little crooked because you can see how the boards are different. Nice and tight. Always wear earplugs. Oh, should I bend it? <laughs> should I pound a little? Should I force a little? Another problem I've noticed through my observations is my feeder has been running out. Now that the young hens are big, they're eating more, and I haven't upped the food enough. I was filling the feeder twice a week, and you don't want the food ever to run out. That's one of my young ones, look how big it is. They're, they look well fed, but I guess they're still not getting enough to lay eggs. So what I'm gonna do is fill my feeder three times a week now instead of two. So between the new perch, more room, and a little more food, two small adjustments, I'm hoping my egg production picks up. We'll see. They can't wait to get up there. They're not even waiting until we leave. <laughs> now that's an old hen. Let's see if she gets up on the new one. 
she's like oh looky there now look how long it only took it's only been five minutes and she's up there already so they like that so hopefully that works fine oh she likes it she's giving the a-o okay. oh she's gonna walk down the perch they're very temperamental they have to give it the full inspection the three most common problems for decreased egg production would be a dirty nest box maybe there's mites in there or something so make sure that's clean either use pine wood chips you know nice stall chips from a stall oh my god that was an acorn <laughs> take cover <laughs> okay so either either use make sure it's clean use pine wood chips or hay like we do we have plenty of hay here on our farm and also if you think you might have mites in there or something sprinkle some of the diatomaceous earth in the nest boxes okay that's number one number two would be the perch there's not enough room they're not happy at night you want them to get a good night's sleep another thing is they like a back behind the perches so maybe that's why it looks like there's room but they weren't sleeping on this part because it's not covered that i did not notice so you want to make sure there's a back all the way down behind your perches so they feel secure and not stressed out and they sleep good and the third thing would be the food make sure they never run out of food because that can be an issue too and interrupt your good egg production so those are the three things i recommend that you check in your coop you have to kind of be a chicken psychiatrist to solve egg production issues this was my issue yours might be a little different so take some time watching them and then you can figure it out Sign up for Becky's Homestead newsletter. Go to Becky'sHomestead.com and sign up on the right. You'll get articles, news, and specials from Becky every month. Unsubscribe anytime, no spam. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions, please email me and Doodle. Happy homesteading. Bye bye. They're tired. <laughs> That's the problem. They're not getting enough sleep at night. They're tired during the day. So they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. They're off their schedule.